Well, hello, my friends, and happy Sunday to you. And look at this grungy goodness, wonderful piece. <laughs> Um, today I'm working on an 8x10 MDF board and those vintage, gorgeous vintage floral papers that you see there are going to be free to you in the resource library and the links will be on the blog and then I'm putting down all of my comfort vintage papers that, that these are my favorite and putting it all down with my DecoArt map medium and today is all about finding the beauty, finding peace, finding the, the space for creativity. And I share a lot about that um, at the end of the video. Now I'm putting those gorgeous vintage flowers down with, again, my matte medium. I really was struggling trying to find some creative moments this week it's been so busy and just even trying to find inspiration was hard but um, I share my steps at the end of the video on how I work through that and um, just some practical steps that I do that maybe will possibly help you so now that that's all dry I'm going to use my DecoArt Media Gesso and a little bit of water and just kind of push that, that first layer back. And it's always hard to let go of the background, but it's so important for the end result of all those layers coming together. And I'm going to be mixing some modeling paste and some gesso for this next layer using my Flower Silhouette 6 stencil. And I explained a, a few times why I mix the two um, modeling paste and gesso because I want a true white and because I like the texture better than just regular modeling paste. Now I'm adding a little bit of that mixture of modeling paste and gesso <clears throat> around the sides of my piece for that extra added oomph of grungy goodness. I'm going to be mixing up some burnt umber and some glazing medium here in this layer to um, really accentuate all of that modeling paste, all of the texture. I pull it back with just a damp rag and it just softens it up and brings everything together and makes it warm and inviting. And as I continue to scrub back that that glaze, it reveals the, the modeling paste. And that's why I want it white white. It also reveals all of that texture around the edges. So now I'm going in with cobalt teal and some glazing medium for another layer of glaze. It just adds just a tiny bit of, it's left in all of the nooks and crannies of that, that teal. It just adds a little bit of, of goodness, a surprise.
back in again with the glaze. I wanted just a little bit more accentuation around the modeling paste. So now I'm going to go in with some Cerulean Blue Hue Fluid Acrylic, this is by DecoArt, watered down, just to add some a pop of color and to resemble some sky, but not really. I just wanted it to be there and add some mystery depth shading. And I dried it just a little bit before I wiped it back because it gives it a real scratchy effect. And now I'm going in with some Quinacridone Magenta Fluid Acrylic watered down just to add <clears throat> some touch of color for um, flowers in the background or just to add some interest. I'm going to take some um, green gold and I'm mixing it just a tiny bit in with my teal and a tiny bit of umber to kind of dirty it up a little bit. And again, that is just to resemble some grass, some greenery down at the bottom. And now I really want to wipe all of that back. So I'm taking some alcohol on my rag and when I wipe that back, it reveals all the texture. I'm using an Inktense pencil for shading instead of my regular charcoal pencil because I've got all of the texture of that modeling paste. I can't get quite close enough with my um, charcoal pencil. So the Inktense is water soluble but dries permanent and has that kind of water color effect. And I just love it. And it works really well next to texture. It gets in all of the nooks and crannies. adding just a splattering of white watered down white paint for a pop white and black are always neutralizing it adds interest and now a little bit of black And I'm just adding my words that I printed out on the computer and aged with um, some umber, my leftover umber. And that's it, my friends. I add a little bit of shading with my charcoal pencil around the words, and we have completed this quick, easy, fun, but yummy, good textural piece. I hope that you liked the video. If you did, subscribe and like, and stick around for um, 
my story about how I find inspiration and finding beauty in the craziness. Well, hello, my lovies. Happy Sunday to you. And look at that. This like goes back to my 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 favorites, my the beginnings of how I created and all the colors and uh, uh, just it's just so good. So um, I explained everything through the video. I do want to just quickly remind you that the two background papers that I use the florals. Um, those are going to be free in the um, resource library and if you haven't signed up for the resource library, um, subscribed, I mean, um, there's just all kinds of goodies in there and when you get into the resource library there will be a chance for you to download these for free along with lots of videos and stuff like that. And there will be a link to sign up if you haven't already signed up. If you have signed up, you you get the regular emails and it's got all the info information in there um, so uh, let's see I don't think I need to I just kind of went over everything and I you know I know that I used this flower um, let me just grab really quick so in my last so in my last crash the stash this is the same exact stencil but it's so versatile and how you can make it work with set so this is all black and this is all white and the look is completely different so I didn't realize that until I did I'm like I just use this one <laughs> but oh oh well it's still beautiful I still love it it still it conveys what I needed to convey and that's the most important thing when we create right so um, this says beauty is everywhere we just need to open our hearts to see it so there was a lot behind this quote and I hope I can tell the story because it kind of meanders a little bit but with the busyness of the season which it, it always is busy at this time it but the business has grown so much that it's just kind of chaotic for me and I'm learning to how to manage that and learning how to manage people because I've hired more people and stuff like that but in the process of this busyness I um, I struggle with creativity just because there's so many other things to do um, and that I am doing with shows and new orders and different things like that and so when it comes to Sunday inspiration time or even crash the stash I'm kind of like oh I don't I, it's like my my brain is dead and there's not an ounce of creativity in me and so um, I always try to um, and part of the part of my creative process and I know it's different for everybody but I have to get really quiet um, I have to kind of just tune everything out and kind of just feel what I what I need to feel maybe look at magazines find what um, sparks my interest colors different things like that but when you're super busy sometimes you just don't have that time and that's kind of where I'm at right now and so as I was preparing for this Sunday I'm like I, I got nothing I have I don't feel like I have any message to share I don't have any anything and then it was really apparent to me that that was the message that sometimes um, in our lives um, we we have all kinds of creativity and we have seasons of creativity and we have seasons of growth and we have seasons where we make strides and steps forward and all of those things and then there are seasons when we don't we just don't um, life is hard and it's busy and it's chaotic and it's crazy and in those times um, especially for my business I, I have to create anyway and um, that's the best thing for me to do. The thing, and I wanted to share what I do in the moments when I'm feeling meh, when I'm just, when I have nothing, when I feel like I have nothing to give, no creativity, anything like that. And the things that I do that work for me is one, I just say, okay, it's okay to not 
feel inspired. <laughs> it's okay. That's it's just life. And try to take the pressure off. And then I try to get quiet. And I read a lot when I'm feeling overly um, everything, when everything's over the top. I read. I kind of retreat and I read. And that's that a lot is my personality. And I know different personality types do things differently. But I thought it would be beneficial because I have a lot of people tell me, I, I just don't know what to do when I'm in this place. And so I retreat. I get quiet. I read. I... Um, I watch, um, or not watch, but I uh, look at magazines. I just, anything to kind of like quiet the noise. That's what I do. And then, that's where this quote comes in. And then I try to look for the beauty around me. Because I am very, very guilty of um, being so busy, head down, working, all that kind of stuff, that I miss I miss the grandeur of the fall right now. I'm dry. I was driving down the street today, taking orders to the mailbox, thinking I got you know I, in my head I've got a list of things I've got to do this and this and this, and I had to just stop. And the beauty of the fall leaves, and it's those kinds of moments that really stir my creativity, and my process and my progress when I stop and I quiet and I really look for the beauty around me, the beauty of the people around you, the beauty of a successful business, the beauty of loved ones and kids dressed up in Halloween costumes or whatever it is. Um, there's, there's so much and so often we miss it because we're not present. We're focused on the next thing or what we're not doing or what, you know, the the um, part that's that we think we're missing and we miss all of that and so I have to take a deep breath and if I open my heart my mind my soul to the beauty around me it fills me and then the other thing that I do that helps me keep moving forward creatively is I create I just do it and like this piece here is nothing new it's not anything spectacular. It's not even my favorite, but I did it. I created. And from this, I get another idea. From this, I go, oh, I liked that. Or, oh, I shouldn't have covered that up. Or, why did I do that? Or, all of those things that happen when we just do it. And so, sometimes we talk ourselves out when we get in this rut and we're stuck and all of those kinds of things. We talk ourselves out of it, and sometimes we just have to do it. We have to quiet the noise and just go for it. It doesn't have to be great. It can be downright awful, but we did it, and it helps us move forward. And that applies, I have found in my life, that applies to just about everything. I can talk myself out of picking up a phone and calling someone about an order or about getting into a store or doing this or doing that because I don't have this right or I don't blah 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 but when I just do it and it's not perfect and it's not always great but I did it and, I, and again I talk about courage muscles and things like that it, it strengthens those muscles to keep moving forward and so that long story long <laughs> is that this is what this piece is about is that sometimes we have to really force ourselves to find the beauty to create to call to write the letter to do whatever it is we have to do it in order for us to keep moving forward and I do want to say this that rest is really really important in all of our endeavors um, and I'm really bad at that and it, sh it shows up all the time in my life that I because I get either pneumonia or exhaustion or all of those things and um, I'm really trying hard to um, balance and I don't know I have said this before but I don't necessarily believe in balance because life hands you things at certain times where you just have to go all in and then you have a rest and then it's back to crazy and then it's rest. I, I just don't know that life is balanced, but
but I think that we can know ourselves enough to know what we need in the moment to kind of calm the craziness so that we can continue to move forward. So my loves, that long story was to say I hope that you are finding your beauty in your world right now, today. That you are creating whatever beauty you want. That you can quiet the noise and the craziness and from here on out the holidays are always such a stressful time for so many people. It's hard and a lot of people deal with a lot of depression and a lot of stuff like that. So make sure that you know the steps that you need to take to take care of your soul and um, that you can take time to find the beauty in your world. That'll keep us keeping going. All right, my loves, I hope your Sunday is wonderful and restful and that there's beauty in your day today. And I hope that you always, always know that you are loved. <laughs>